And from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms is speaking out for the first time, revealing how the agency took down the vicious street gang in northwest Detroit known as Band Crew. This gang was so bold they committed their crimes knowing they were on video and even flooded social media with photos showing them with deadly weapons and wads of cash. Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, man. So there's some reports coming out of none other than the D-Town, man. Detroit City, man. Let me not get that confused with Dallas, but Detroit, man. And it's about a rapper by the name of Band Gang Paid Will. Now, Band Gang Paid Will is actually a part of Band Gang. And his name is Paid Will, but they say the whole thing, man. Like a pimp named Slipback. You know what I mean? You got to say it all together. But, man... Band Gang paid Will, man, some sad news that came out, man. Now, reportedly, he met his untimely demise in a shootout yesterday. But, man, there's some things about this that just seem odd, man. And, I mean, a lot of people are, are you know, talking about this online, and there's an outpour of sympathy and RIP tweets and stuff like that. But there hasn't been any official report or name or anything from any official source. But, man, before we get into the specifics, do me a favor, man. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and man, let's get it. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, man, let's talk about Band Gang Paid Will a little bit. Now, Band Gang Paid Will is a Detroit rapper, and he's a part of Band Gang, and they got their first major look when they did a Say Cheese interview, man, about a couple of years ago, and they were all being interviewed. And the topic that they were discussing was actual fraud, man. There was like a lot going on as far as, you know, a lot of scamming. This is when scamming first came up into hip hop, really, man. Because remember, in the early stages of hip hop, in the beginning, man, people looked at scammers as like weirdos, you know? It just was a weird thing to look at. And they just did an interview. It was him and two of his compadres, man. And I would, don't let me get to telling lies. I think it was Band Gang Moscow and uh, another guy. And they basically, man, came out and said, you know, we're talking about their case or whatnot. And Say Cheese was just asking them a little bit about the intricate details. And they were giving them not that much information. But, man, some sad news burst out, man, today when people said that Band Gang paid Will actually... Uh, passed away from a gunshot wound, man. This is crazy, man. Now, I, it hasn't even been 24 hours. And we just talked about two other situations with rappers involved in shooting, one losing his life, man. One was down in, one was in a New, Newark, New Jersey. And then the other was down in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. But it looks like the D-Town is trying not to be left out, man. Now, in all seriousness, this is a sad situation if it's true. But it's odd because, man, I don't see any news reports or anything of a shooting. And now this is what's rumored, man. And I'm going to just start off by saying this is a rumor. So the rumor is he was involved in a shooting and it was just a, just a, a brazen gun battle, like between two different parties. And, you know, it was a shootout. And in the shootout, he lost his life. Now, that's a lot different than a lot of the situations we've been seeing where rappers have been getting ambushed or whatnot. Now, I know that doesn't bring the family any more closure or make them any more happier, but, man, this is a sad situation nonetheless, man, because, I mean, for there to be another rapper fatality that soon, man, I mean, it's, it's getting out of hand. I'm telling you the truth. If we were to look at his music career, he's relatively in the early stages of his career still. I mean, a lot of underground and local hits, but when I look at his views, He's got actually moderate to good views, man, on a lot of his videos, man. And then his next project looked like it was about to be something serious, man. It looks like he had some official backing. So his his project, excuse me, his last project called Applying Pressure, it was released back in July of this year. And, man, he's got a couple of uh, tracks, no super major features, but a lot of local features. And then it was pushed and distributed by Empire. So... Any money that he was getting off of rap, he was eating, man, himself. So it looked like he was just setting up his business structure for his hip-hop game right, man. I mean, I, I got to applaud the independent grind, man. I love to see independent artists out there shining. It's just sad, man, that a lot of cats, especially when you have a street persona, 
a street or you're a street artist. Man, you're, the expectations for you are so much higher than any other type of rapper. You know, like Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, Drake. Yeah, man, they're not street rappers at all, right? They're more of, you know, storytelling, talk about reality, feelings and emotions type of deal, dealing with the situations of life. But once you take on that persona as a street rapper, as opposed to that, man, you know, you, you bring on a whole bunch of added pressure, man. I would, man, if I was a rapper, I would probably stray away from that because uh, it's just too much pressure. Like, you've got to be the hardest person. you got to be the biggest gangster. You've got to have done the most work in the streets, you know, without getting specific. You got to ha- you got to have all the girls, man. You you can't take no losses. Nobody can ever it's just too much, man. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Then in this time, you got a lot of wolves out here, man, and they're preying on rappers right now. I mean, everybody for some reason has a red target on rappers. I mean, I I go through the stories every week, man. I talk about it almost every other day. And it seems like, man, nobody is stopping. And, man, rappers just aren't getting the point. I, I hope when somebody listens and gets this point. Bruh, people are out here straight up hurt right now. I'm talking about they ain't got no money. They ain't got no car. They, they waiting on the next stimulus. It's bad for them. So if you're walking around with mad jewelry, and this is, hold up. Let me let me preface this. This is not saying that, that paid will did any of this and this is not directed at him or anyone you know associated with him i'm just talking in general i'm just saying that man cats is hurt out here and you shining like a mug man you're gonna bring on unwanted attention man if i was a rapper i would act so broke right now i'd be like oh man i messed up even if i wasn't but that's another part of the the rap situation man when you take on that persona as a gangster rapper or a street dude in rap you can't ever be portrayed as broke. You always got to be the freshest. You always got to have the most money. It's just too much pressure, man. Like, at what point do you say, all right, man, I'm just a real person, bro. You know what I mean? But, man, when you do that, you kill the illusion. And that illusion leads to sales. And those sales lead to dollars. And the cycle continues. Now, with Pay Will, man, he was just in the beginning stages of his career if he really lost his life. Now, this is all rumor, man. It's being reported, and a lot of people in Detroit are sending out their shout-outs. Like, he had a lot of people who he uh, did music with, excuse me, and they basically went to social media and, you know, already said rest in peace or whatnot. And if you look at his Instagram page, it's pretty much cloned off and shut down. But, man, I don't know, man. It's just something, when you don't see an associated news story with it, and it hasn't been confirmed by anybody like a county clerk or something like that, man, you, you... you kind of you you kind of have to look at this thing like maybe it was a mistaken identity. Now, if this is factual, man, rest in peace to this to this brother, man. I, sad situation again. I hate to see it keep happening. It's gonna. I don't know why. It's, I I keep getting comments in the comment section like it's not gonna stop. Eventually, this is gonna have to stop, man. I mean, what in the world? We just not gonna have any more on the come up rappers. I mean, it's to the point where. If you're a rapper, you got to move with full on security. But maybe that's just the smartest move at this time. Now, with that, man, rest in peace to Band Gang, Pay Will, and uh, much blessings and condolences to his family. Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.